Howdy cowboys and cowgirls, it's me, Cowboy Jack, and today I'm really excited. Do you guys see where we're at? Take a look at that. We're at Majestic Youth Sports Complex in Willis, Texas. There's all kinds of cool gymnastics and things, and we're gonna meet some really amazing kiddos that are fantastic at gymnastics. It's their platinum team. You guys wanna go meet them? Come on, let's go. Wow, this is gonna be a whole lot of fun meeting these guys and getting to see what they do every day. Wow, see look, this is a really big gym in here. Oh wow, and I even see some gymnasts out there doing their thing, that's amazing. I bet we're gonna get to learn all about that. Let's come on in here. Oh, hi. Hello. Oh, look, it's my really good friend, Coach Robin. Hey. Hi. Thanks for having us today. <laughs> sure. I really appreciate it. So this is the Platinum Team, or yes. some of the members of the Platinum Team, yes, right? Yes, some of them. So they're <laughs> actually really good gymnasts, and uh -huh. this is their home gym where they practice and learn all their skills, right? They're home away from home. That's awesome. <laughs> well, could we go out there and take a look at what Absolutely. they're doing? Absolutely. Wait a Hand second. Hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer, <laughs> absolutely. Let's get some of that. You know, you can never be too careful. Hand sanitizer is good because it gets away all those icky, icky germs. They don't know where Cowboy Jack's been before this. I might have been messing with a horse or cleaning some chickens up or something. Ew. You know, <laughs> they're barefoot. Yep. Do I need to take my cowboy boots off? Yeah, maybe so. Okay, let me do that. Unless you want to do a flip and a kick. Well, I might. <laughs> Let's just see here. I'll slip these off. How's that? Woo! Yeah. Guys, she's smelling my boots. We better get Woo! away. Wow, this floor is really springy. Yeah, jump, jump, it's bouncy. <laughs> oh, wow, that's incredible. But Don't I, jump too high. You know what, I bet this is actually for safety, right? It is, yeah, it helps protect your joints, helps make you go higher too. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense because these gymnasts jump really high and do all kinds of flips and turns and all kinds of stuff. I don't even know how to say it all. Twist, but this spins. floor, you know, if you were to fall, and there's a proper way to fall too, but if you were to fall, this protects all of your joints and makes sure you don't get hurt. I can teach you how to fall. Ooh, hey, I, I, I'm a pretty good faller. I can teach you. <laughs> it's easy. You want to try? Well, sure. <laughs> Let's learn how to fall. All right. So whenever you go to fall, you can't put your hands down and try to catch yourself. You have to just roll out of it. So whether you're going forward or backwards, you have to roll. So let's practice. Turn around, I'll push you down. Actually, you push me down. I'll show you. Well, I, I can't push a lady <laughs> down. I'll let. <laughs> okay, I'll pretend. Ah! No hands. See? Oh, okay. No okay, you try. I think I could do that. So if I'm just gonna it's fall, I'm just, whoa! Yeah, like that. <laughs> whoa! Hey, I think I fell pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that's enough of me. I came to see these guys. These are the, the professional gymnasts, uh -huh. right? Yeah. Don't get too close. Okay. They might kick you because oh. they're in full swing practice. Wow. So what are they doing there? What's that called? That's called a back walkover. A back walkover. Yeah. I don't and think I could do that. a switcheroo or something. <laughs> they're switching their legs. That's pretty cool. You want to try that? Uh, I think I'll leave it up to the professionals. <laughs> Yeah, they've been practicing lots and lots of practice to get to where they're at. So don't try it at home. Not now, yet. <laughs> now what age range is a platinum team? Platinum, they can range anywhere from six to however old you want to be. <laughs> wow, that's really cool. <laughs> yeah, takes a lot, of, a lot of years to get to platinum. Let's come in over here, guys. Don't be scared, come on. <laughs> oh, wow. That looks like it hurts. Well, <laughs> obviously it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't, they're on a spring floor. Do you wanna meet them? Sure, absolutely. Howdy, how are you guys doing? I'm Cowboy Jack, what's your name? I'm JC. JC, nice to meet you. Maddie. Maddie, nice to meet you. Berkeley. Berkeley? Natalie. Natalie, nice to meet you guys. That's well, their coach over there, that's Coach Ashley. Oh, hi Coach Ashley. <laughs> well, thank you guys for letting us come in and take a look at some of y'all's routines. I get You really must like gymnastics a lot, right? Yeah, that's, that's so cool. So this is like your favorite hobby? Yes. Nothing else? No. All right, well, that's the right answer. That's so cool. Well, can we see some of your routines? I saw y'all doing those crazy roll around things. I don't really understand much about gymnastics, but you guys being young professionals know a lot more than we do. So I was hoping we could take a look at some of the awesome things that you do. Sure, sure. Awesome. Oh my goodness. Wow, good job. Awesome! <laughs> Whoa! 
<laughs> Guys, this is amazing. They make this look completely effortless. That was a lot of flipping around. That was so cool and they make it look completely effortless. Because, let me ask you, do these girls practice a lot? Yes. That's yes. right. They're in the gym, I don't know, 15 hours a week? 14, wow, 13, 15 I'm hours sure. a week? That's a lot of time. <laughs> because we don't get good at something unless pra we keep practicing and getting better at it. That's right, lots of practice. Whoa! <laughs> I think she surprised herself on that one. <laughs> Whoa! See, and if you were really interested in gymnastics, you could come to this gym and train and learn and you could be just as good as they are, but you have to put in the work. You have to be prepared to put in the effort to get really good at these things. Our kiddos start at 18 months old. 18 months mm -hmm. old, wow. Yeah. Natalie's been with us since we opened the doors. Seven wow. years ago. Y'all have been open and uh -huh. for seven years in the yeah. same location? Mm -hmm. Well, no, we've, in Willis. <laughs> we've been in Willis for seven years. <laughs> Not in the same building. Guys, I can't let y'all have all the fun. Oh. I, I, I saw your routine. I think I could pull some of that off. What do you guys think? I, I think it could be really good, right? I, you know, I, what do you think? Pretty good for a first try, right? Wow, you know something crazy that I've noticed as they do these routines, it's almost like they're on their hands as much as they are on their feet. That's right, yeah. You have to be yeah. extremely ambidextrous and... Takes a lot of practice. Yeah. It's just like learning to walk when you're a baby. You have to take one step at a time. It's the same thing with gymnastics, it's small progressions. That's so one, one baby step at a time, and then it just builds and builds and builds. <laughs> that is so cool. We can, they can show you some moves on some other stuff too. We can go to balance beam and bars and trample. We can talk about Whoa, that was a lot of flips. <laughs> Whoa, the forward flip. That was crazy. <laughs> Wow, see it's not all just on the floor. This is a trampoline and they're doing all these crazy jumps and I think that was called a straight straddle, straight straddle. Straight jump, straddle jump, yeah. See, I, You're I, know, I know a little bit of gymnastic lingo. That was so cool. Now, what do we do to make sure that we're really safe when we're on a trampoline? So when we're on a trampoline, we always wanna be one at a time on the trampoline. Now this trampoline is a tumble tramp, which means it's a one-way street. Um, so they have to tumble one direction, we only allow one kid at a time on the trampoline. And one of the things that we always teach at an early age is learning how to stop their bounce. So when they're jumping and they're bouncing up and down and then we just, like she just did, we teach them just to bend their knees so they can stop their, so they can learn how to stop their bounce safely. Okay. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. Cause sometimes, oh, especially like when I was growing up, if you got too many kids on the trampoline, sometimes you get the double bounces and then you yeah. might bump heads with somebody. It could be really bad. Yeah. And we also teach um, seat drops. So when they do their seat drops, a lot of kids will do these at home. 
um, as well. We teach them to seat drop with their hands down by their side and bounce to their bottom. Oh, that's okay. When you see kids do them at home, they'll do them all crazy, and that's not safe. So. Yeah, I know. <laughs> when I was younger, I was bouncing on a friend's trampoline, and I had my knee come up and knock me in the mouth. Oh. <laughs> that's you know, trampolines can be fun, but they can also be dangerous. So you have that's to be right. careful. Yeah. Yeah. Most importantly, one at a time is our biggest rule. That is just incredible. I'm going to stand over here so I can see that. <laughs> that is insane. Wow, guys, this is crazy. Whew. Now, did that make you dizzy when you did that? A bit. <laughs> wow, that would make me really dizzy. Whew. I think I would do that and I'd forget which way is up and which way is down. <laughs> You're welcome to jump down. Uh, you know, these guys are doing such an amazing <laughs> job. I don't know if I should mess up that kind of good flow. <laughs> wow. Yeah, we teach kids just to jump first. <laughs> they yeah. learn all this later on. <laughs> <laughs> So when you first started in gymnastics, did you feel nervous about it? Oh, absolutely. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yes. It has to be kind of nerve wracking. I mean, you guys are doing some amazing flips and turns and I mean, it makes me dizzy just watching you. So I can't imagine what you go through when you're actually doing it. Yeah. At first, it's really nerve wracking. You just have to build up the confidence. Yeah. yeah. And I guess you get that confidence by practice, right? Yeah. Muscle memory. That's really important because we never are very good at something the first time we try but we keep working at it, keep working at it, and then you can become one of the members of the platinum team like these guys, who are just obviously naturals at it. I mean, you guys are doing all these whirly bobs and skinny mabibs. I think I said that right, right? Isn't that what they're called? Absolutely. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you so much for showing us everything you can do on that trampoline. That was so cool. Wow, so this is called a balance beam, and it's a big event in gymnastics. I've never done it before, and I'm a little bit shaky, but I bet if I came and tried every day, I'd get really good at it. I better step down. But you know what? These girls are really, really good at it. Can you guys show me some of your stuff on these beams? Awesome. Oh my goodness, did you see that? She just went like a, I don't know what they call it, but she did that right on that beam. That's crazy. And see, these beams are not very wide. If you come take a look real close, I mean, that's, I don't know, maybe four inches wide? Four inches. Four mm -hmm. inches wide, wow. And they're jumping around up there like it's no big thing. Wow, that was amazing. 
Look at that, she's able to spin around and do all that without even falling off. I would have fallen off a long time ago. <laughs> See, and she was about to fall off there, but she was able to catch herself. That was so cool. <laughs> and see, cowboys and cowgirls, these beams that they're practicing on are really high up. And like we've talked about, these guys are trained professionals. They've been doing it a long, long time. So you would never want to try this by yourself. You come to a gym with a coach and get the right training so that you do it the right way. And they even train you so that, like we learned when we first got here, if you do fall, there's a proper way to fall so that you protect your joints. You wouldn't want to hurt your knees or your ankles, your toes, even your wrists or your hands. I mean, you use all of your joints here while you're doing gymnastics. Whew. I bet you guys didn't know it, but I'm really good at the uneven bars. I'm about to show you my routine. I'm just kidding. But these girls are on their uneven bars and they're gonna show us their stuff and they're really good at it. When you first get started on these, you start on these smaller bars and you work your way up to these adult size, really big bars. And there's all kinds of crazy things you can do on them. Wow. Hey, what are those things you have on your hands? Those are called grips? They protect your hands from getting grips like those, just not all the time. Ooh, your hands look really tough. They're even tougher than mine. They're covered in callus skin. So that protects your hands because those bars, I guess, you put chalk on your hands, right? That helps with the grip? It does help, but it doesn't necessarily always stop your hands from ripping. Mm. You have to build up calluses over the years until they just don't rip as much anymore. Wow. I'm getting exhausted just watching them do this. Well, now we're gonna watch my friend McKaylee do this bar with the straps. This is really cool. And it helps you learn a proper technique. See, they call it the straps. She's actually strapped to the bar to help her with her hold on. Wow, and it's like she's swinging, but there's no swing. She is the swing. Wow, she managed to go all the way around. That was amazing. Good job. <laughs> that is so cool. So how long have you been doing this? About five years. Five years? Wow, five years. I, I don't think I've done anything for five years before. That's so cool. And if you looked real close at her hands when you were do she was doing that, you could see why she has those grips protecting her hands because there's a lot of pressure. Your whole body weight plus the, the momentum of your body flipping around and everything puts a lot of strain on your hands. That was so cool to watch. So these guys are absolutely amazing. And do you guys do this for competitions? Mm -hmm. Yes, year round. Year round? Well, they compete January through May. Well, that's almost, that's <laughs> uh, what, half the year, uh -huh. almost half the year? Yep. And do they compete on an individual basis? They compete individual and as a team. So 
We have a bronze, silver, gold, platinum team. Well, that's a fantastic thing because competition is natural and a, and a great way to build character, right? Yep. But the fact that you're working as a team as and as an individual at the same time is amazing. Yep. That's yep. so cool. Yep. These girls have just so much incredible determination and dedication mm -hmm. to this sport. That's really cool. Mm -hmm. Very strong and talented. Hard workers. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Oh, wow, that was awesome. See, now they're doing the vault, and that's where they run all the way down this side, hit that thing, and then they flip over this brown. <laughs> that is crazy. I don't know what that brown thing is called, but that's what they're jumping over. That is crazy. They make this look effortless and they're running all that way and then jumping and flipping over and landing just like, oh, it's just another Tuesday, right? <laughs> all right, cowboys and cowgirls. Wow, this has been such an amazing adventure here at Majestic Youth Sports Complex in Willis, Texas. I know I'm exhausted and I didn't even do anything. These amazing girls showed us all their moves and they were so fantastic. Thank you guys for having us today. I really appreciate it. I appreciate your time and wow, I mean, you guys are incredible. What an amazing skill that you have. And that's so cool that you enjoy it and love working at it and do all those competitions. And you do stuff that I couldn't even pretend to do. I mean, I'm just a cowboy, but you guys are incredible. So thank you. All right, guys, make sure to click subscribe to Cowboy Jack on YouTube. That way you can come with us on all of our adventures because we go on a lot of them. And until next time, oh, well, wait, wait, wait. Now at the end of every show, we always do a yeehaw. Could you guys help me with that? Yeah. All right, so we're gonna count to three and then we're gonna jump and yell yeehaw. You guys ready? All right, one, two, three. Yeehaw! <laughs>